Ooh. Huh? In comparison to a live event, the reading of a book is, is monodimensional. I'm not putting down reading books. I've read a great deal of books on this subject and, and I recommend it. It's, it um, but but a, a live event or a live meeting, is, there's, it's much more than a communication of thought. Although on the surface, it may, the form of the event may, may be in terms of a talk or a conversation. It's an energetic communication as well as a verbal or mental communication. So it's, it's multi-layered, multi-dimensional compared to simply reading. What I love about being with people, both as a listener and as a speaker, is that we're there together in the flesh. And there's something about the immediacy of that because, because we really are all one behind the scenes. We kind of move together so that as we start exploring the moment and what it is to be alive, you can feel everyone together going to a much deeper experiential place where they can see who they are and what is in a new way. And that happens with live events more than anything else. There can be delightful moments sitting at home watching somebody on YouTube or, you know, reading our favourite author or whatsoever. This can be an absolute delight. But it has a very different feel to a gathering of, um, of people and to maybe use an overused word. You know, there is a synergy about a group, you know, when it's... Uh, when it's kind of um, flowing, when it's grokking and flowing together, there's a synergy about a group which sort of adds up to more than the, uh, the individual parts of it. And I think people just enjoy that. They just enjoy being in that kind of, uh, that kind of feeling. If it's a, a, a truly uncompromisingly non-dual communication in a meeting with people, then yes, the words are quite important and the concepts of exchange of concepts are quite important, but then, then they're really only an excuse for something else to happen, which is beyond words. <laughs>